I wanted to show you this little microscope um, I bought off of Amazon and I'll link it in the description in case you're interested. You know as you get older it's harder to see things and you've got little circuit boards and you're trying to see if you've got a messed up soldering joint or something like that and you know I have to drag out all this stuff and so I kind of wanted a self-contained little unit that would be easy. Now this thing wasn't cheap. I think I paid like $70 for it or something like that. Like I said, I'll link it in the description, but you can get it a lot cheaper if you provide your own tablet. But I just kind of wanted something that was all together. It was easy to move around and pull out of a cabinet and use and that kind of thing. Cause I have other magnifiers and things and it's just, it's a hassle to use them. So I was trying to look for something easy. Now this one will go down to very small. I'll show you what some of the little tiny things it can see. It's got some extra lighting on it. Um, you can see right here these little things will come in and help light up. Now one weird thing about them is this thing is powered off of a USB charging cord but these you have to plug into the back of this thing there's a battery that runs these lights and it charges these so if you're if you're using the power up here it's not charging these these lights are running these lights. There's a battery in here that actually does that. And if they get to where they're not working, you got to charge the battery that's in here and the plug is in the back back here. But I don't really find myself using these uh, lights a whole lot anyway. All right, let me zoom you in here on the screen so you can see how well-defined things are. Okay, so first of all, this is a little kind of test pattern that comes with it. And it's got a funny little glare on it from the lights. But these... These big lines are a millimeter and the tiny little lines are a tenth of a millimeter. And then over here, you've got some lines that show you. So this line is 0.2 millimeters. The next one's 0 0.1, 0 0.07, 0 0.05, 0 0.03. And so that's a 0 0.03 line that it's showing you right there. And again, it's glaring off of this transparency kind of thing that they send with you. Here's a little circuit board that I'll stick under there for you. You can see it gives you a really good view of that. Now it does output to an SD card. It'll take pictures for you. Uh, it also will output to a, it's got a USB out over here that you can run into, I guess a camcorder or something like that, or a computer to record things. It's got a rack and pinion on the back, which sounds really kind of fancy, but you know, it's kind of, rigid, kind of rickety. You have to keep this kind of screwed in a little bit, or if you bump it, It'll just fall like that. So I keep this just a little bit tight and then it works a lot better. But the nice thing about this particular model is you, you've got to be pretty close to this to focus. Well, and actually this will let it focus quite far away. But the nice thing is, is it will go up, you know, that high. So you can actually get things that, that thick up under there to magnify them. And then I don't know how far that thing will go down. Let's see. Okay, so I realized you couldn't see that up there. So here is it zoomed out. It's kind of easier to see. I don't know. Probably wouldn't be as helpful with something like that. But actually, it's pretty good. You could probably find a loose joint there. If not, you can certainly zoom in and see it better. Anyway, I have, have used this several times since I've gotten it. It's been very helpful and I just thought I'd show it to y'all and uh, you might find that you could use one too. Like I said, the, uh, it's linked in the description if you're interested. Thank you for watching.